welcome to United Glacial. So how are you, Rich, today? Very good, thank you. How are you this morning, Alana? Yeah, I'm fine too. Is everything okay with you? You're very good. Looking forward to another uh, episode of The Glazing Show. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to ask you questions. I'm so, so, so excited about it. Perfect. Okay, so today's topic is door types. Yes. Last week we did the window types and it was so fantastic. So I'm really wondering about the door types too. Okay. So in doors, you have uh, both residential doors and we have commercial doors. Those would be the two main designation of doors. And uh, so let's start off with a residential door. So uh, a typical single family house or a multifamily house will typically have a wood door as your front door. You'll have a either a handle, a, 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 um, a turn handle, or a, a latch that you uh, operate with your thumb that would uh, operate a strike, which locks the, uh, the, the door into the frame itself. Um, typically, uh, again, you'll have a, a wood door for a residential door. I mean, occasionally you might see a uh, metal or an aluminum door, but that's very uh, not as common for residential um, applications. Typically, uh, for commercial applications, you're going to use an aluminum door or a steel door. Uh, that's going to be the makeup of the door itself. So rather than having a wood frame, which again, over time could have a tendency to warp or need maintenance to either paint it or stain it because of the, uh, um, its proximity to the weather, a steel or a aluminum door will have a much stronger or higher resistance against the weather. Um, we all know, or I believe that we all know that aluminum is a non-ferrous material, so it's not going to rust, whereas a steel door is a ferrous metal and it, it is applicable to rust, uh, but by treating a steel door you know, with a paint, uh, you'll be able to um, offset those issues of the weather uh, against the steel door. But for a commercial door, uh, generally, like I said, you'll have either steel or aluminum uh, frame and sash itself. We'll call the, um, the operable part of the door, like a door leaf or a door sash, and then the, the doors inserted into a frame where you have hinges or a, a method to attach it to the building itself. So for commercial doors, you're going to have either what's a standard swing door. You can have an automatic swing door. You can have a sliding door, which would always be automatic. Or you can have a revolving door. Those would be the, the four typical types of commercial doors. The most common door that you would see at a local uh, restaurant or home re repair store or local store itself would be a swing door. Swing door is going to be the most basic type of door and the door leaf itself, the actual part that swings could be made up in multiple varieties. You could have um, a thin frame, maybe about three inches all around the perimeter with a large piece of glass. So uh, you'd have like, a, so you'd be able to see inside. You could have a mid rail across the center of the door and have maybe a panel down below and glass up above. You can have panel panel where it can be solid all, all the way through if that's what you want, you know, depending on what your application is. But most stores would have a the largest visible piece of glass in the center. So that way you can see inside, and, you know, inviting people to come on into my store. Look what I have to sell for you today. So um, that, that would be your most typical. Um, Aluminum doors come in what's called style. So the, the, uh, the perimeter around the door is what's called the style and then the glass is in the center of the door. And what I like to do is I'd like to send to you afterwards some um, photos and some uh, applications of doors so that way we can put up on, on the website also uh, so people can see you know the different uh, parts and pieces of the door so that way you know I don't want to be losing people here when we start talking about you know we'll break down into some technical information uh so maybe they can go back and look and see what's going on but I'll get that to you uh today yeah that um, sounds great I want to check it out too 
Okay, so the styles of the doors um, is, uh, are mainly what's called either a narrow style door, a medium style door, or a wide style door. And that's going to be the size of your frame. So you'll have a rectangular uh, door. Obviously, it's roughly in America, it's a, a general size for, for a commercial door is three foot wide and eight foot tall. That'd be the, the most common size. And out of that three foot wide uh, door itself, the door leaf, you can have either a three inch frame, you can have a five inch frame, or you can have a seven and a half inch frame going all, all the way around. And again, if you're gonna go with a taller door, the wider the style is, the strong it's gonna be. So uh, I've seen doors up to 10 and 11 foot tall, you know, for very high end applications. So you don't wanna have a little bit stronger of a style because you don't want the door over time to warp or bend or twist out of place. So having a wider style will allow for more strength in the door. Now, again, I've seen it where the architects want to have as much less as possible, where they ask for as little as style as possible. And, you know, you might have to do some reinforcing inside the frame just to try to make it, you know, more secure for something that tall. Because you have to remember, a person is going to grab the door handle and pull at about 42 inches, 44 inches off the, the, the ground floor. So right at that point, you're getting a lot of pressure. So if you have a very tall door up above and only a little bit down below, the door's going to want to almost bend or rack out of place somewhat. So you want to make sure that you have a, a strong rail and if required, any, any yes. necessary reinforcing inside the style. That doesn't sound so safety. Okay, so um, aluminum doors, like I said, are going to be the most common doors that you're going to see. Um, we can also have um, steel doors. Steel doors would be, will have a fire rating to them, and they'll also be a little bit more secure. So maybe if you have something like a, let's call it a bank, you know, or, or something that, that you need a little bit more security, you, you, you would probably see a steel door. Or maybe like um, where we see a lot of uh, steel doors here in, in New York would be like a loading dock. So at, at night or, you know, overnight where, uh, you know, you get deliveries coming in to, to re replenish the, the store or the restaurant, you know. Um, but again, you want to make sure it's secure. So after, you know, your delivery comes, it's a, it's a stronger door. Generally, um, most steel doors are going to have either a small sliver piece of glass where you just have a little small square that you can see through just to see who's outside or either a square or a rectangle piece of glass. But you're not going to have, you know, Although you could have a full piece of glass in it, generally you're going to have uh, the majority of the door leaf itself being the steel frame with like uh, the core inside of it. That's going to give it its strength. Um, you might have a, a different type of lock, you know, but we'll talk about hardware in a little bit. We also have um, sliding doors. So we talked about swing doors. I'm sorry. So uh, let's go back to swing doors for a second. With swing doors, you have your typical door, which you and I would probably think of you walk up, you have a pull handle, you pull a door open. And if you're inside the store and it's one of these aluminum storefront doors, you'll have a horizontal bar going across it. You push the bar okay. so you don't push the glass. You don't want to push on the glass. God forbid to break. You know, we can have a, a, a safety hazard going on. So and I don't like the fingerprints on the glass also. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So you'll have a push bar going across. That would be the, the, the most basic and standard. Now we can upgrade those to decorative type of pulls and decorative type of push handles uh push bars you know but um for the basics that that's what you're looking at for a swing door an automatic doors is um you'll see these in hospitals you might see these in pharmacies or maybe nursing homes when you walk up there'll be a sensor up above the door itself so as somebody gets it within like eight to ten feet of the door all of a sudden the sensor reads activity being uh, coming toward the door and it automatically opens the door. Uh, similar to going outside of the, uh, if you're inside the building looking to leave the building, you'll also have a sensor on the inside of the building. So again, the same thing when you're um, getting between eight to 10 feet from the door, uh, door itself, the, the sensor will kick in and automatically open the door. So that will be an upgrade. And generally you'll see those in high traffic areas um, where you're going to need some uh, mobility issues with somebody that might, might be in a wheelchair or somebody might be on crutches or something like that. So again, you most likely see those at hospitals. You might see those at nursing homes. That's the most typical places you'll see those. 
Now, also where we'll see those over here, at least um, in, in New York, is also in supermarkets. You're walking out with a big bag of groceries, you know, it's like you don't have, you know, you can't ha have a hand to push a door. So you don't have these sensor doors also. So that's the other most common place where, you know, I would see those here. My opinion um, is like automatic doors are more usable. Correct. But now, obviously, there's a lot more service required on them because you have functioning parts through electrical. And obviously, you have the initial cost, which will be significant, significantly higher than just a standard push door. So you have to weigh your options, you know, with, you know, the amount of traffic or that you're going to be getting in and out of a door. Um, last type of door that we want to talk about is also a revolving door. So we've seen those maybe at hotels or high-end uh, business centers or uh, office buildings. When, when you walk in, you have, generally, it's going to be a, probably a, an eight to nine foot wide circular uh, enclosure that has a, an X pattern inside of it with a full height leaf that spins around a center pivot and goes around. Um, that will allow for a lot of people to enter and exit the building fairly quickly, as well as in colder climates, maintaining a, uh, the, the, the loss of the uh, warm air or cool air to the outside of, of the building. Because at some point, you always have one part of the X or two parts of the X touching the surrounding frame of the unit. So if you have a circle, you'll have maybe a five foot wide opening in the front, a five foot wide opening in the back with the X pad in the middle. As it spins around, part of it is always touching the, uh, the sidewall. So you're getting very limited amount of uh, loss of air. So again, if you're trying to heat a lobby area or cool a lobby area if it's warm outside and you don't want to lose all, all that air, somebody opens a door, or an automatic door, an automatic door will stay open for like 25 seconds to allow somebody in a wheelchair enough time to get through you have a, a wide opening where that air is just rushing in or rushing out so you'll see um revolving doors you know more commonly used where you have uh temperature changes and also on higher end applications so those would be the, the main types of doors that we're looking at for commercial doors would be a swing door an automatic swing door um sliding doors and revolvers so those would be the types types of doors that we're looking at here um, and I guess those would be the most common. Now, from those types of doors, um, we spoke about basically where they can be used. So I would say residential would generally be a wood door. Um, you might see uh, on a high-end building a, a, a nice wood door with all the fancy carving and etching in it. But again, that would be somebody who has a lot of money because you're going to deal with a nice hardwood type of, uh, of wood that's going to be much more expensive, but no. Uh, so you'd see that maybe in a high-end building that then somebody wants to make a statement, say, this is my building. Look at these beautiful doors that are here. Well, that's uh, why we don't see it so much. Now, again, you'll see them on high-end buildings here in New York City, but again, you know, it, it's, it's more common. You're going to see um, uh, uh, an aluminum door. So uh, with the aluminum door, one thing that, which I forgot to uh, mention to you is from the